Well, that was an ordeal. It's uh, Storm Garrett is blowing in full force. Uh, I started my day in um, deepest, 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 darkest Aberdeenshire. I've never seen road conditions like it. We had started off with snow, then that turned into floods. Road closures, traffic jams. I've ripped the bottom of the uh, the under tray off uh, <coughs> the underfloor, sorry, off my car, and it took me four and a half hours to do eighty miles on on main roads, basically A roads. <laughs> and now I've finally arrived at my fishing spot, which has taken us six and a half hours to get to. High tide, it, sorry, low tide. <laughs> I've literally just turned the engine off and finished my uh, sup fisherman's dinner. Um, yeah, high, I'll say it again, low tide is a 10 to 9. And this mark that I'm fishing, you only get two hours either side of low tide. And it now is 6 o'clock. Uh, I've got to sort my kit out, get ready and get to the mark, which is about 25 minute walk. Um, pretty remote as well. Um, I fished at this mark once before and it was a really good session. I ended up with a, a seven pound fish um, and a few more. Um, lads I was, I was with caught a load as well. So I've taken a big gamble getting here and coming well, come here anyway, given the traffic, the conditions um, and then the fishing conditions, uh, which are, oh, well, yeah, 60 mile an hour winds, but this is a little cove. So I'm hoping that I'm going to at least have the wind on my back or sheltered from it completely but um we'll see like i say big gamble gonna get ready get uh get down there it's just started raining again uh, which wasn't meant to but never mind um yeah get down there and then uh i hopefully get in amongst some cod so we're here it is empty i've never well i've been here once <laughs> and it never got this low so maybe the tide's a bit too low at the minute Unfortunately, I've missed obviously the ebb, um, but hopefully, I mean, the last time I was here, the ebb was pretty good, um, but not as good as the flood. And it, typically, I got the big fish just as I was pushed off the mark. It's rough as hell. Sea is huge. Ah, oh, I bought myself a bigger bait, mate, but um, in my haste, I've left it in the car. Oh, nice car. Hook that through between the eyes there. Let's get that out. Oh, and we're fishing. <laughs> There's so much weed in the water. I, I don't know how fishable this is going to be, but I don't have to cast far. And we're reasonably high above the water here, so we shouldn't have too much of an issue. Last time I fished here, um, the fish were really aggressive. A, I'm in a really tight cove with a massive reef further out, and there's big rocks on either side. And uh, the fish seem to run in. And I've actually put a pulley rig on, which is... I don't ever normally fish with a pulley rig, but we were missing so many bites. Three of us were here and we were missing so many bites. We put a pulley rig on and we're instantly hooking into them. So uh, I don't know what the difference is. I don't know why my usual panel, uh, paternoster didn't work, but that's why I've got a pulley rig on anyway. So first bait in the water, quarter past seven. We've got an hour and a bit before low, which is a bit worrying because I can see rocks here that I've never seen before. Um, but if it empties out, I'll just have to be patient and wait for the flood to come back in. 
the swell is massive. Uh, Surfline said, or magic what was magic seaweed said, uh, four to six foot. But I mean, I can see the waves, which are about 50 foot away, hitting that reef. Not 50 foot, sorry. <laughs> Need to slow down. Over 100 metres away, and the plumes coming off the back, they're just like walls of water. So that's a real good bonus for this mark, because apparently if it's small, you... Oh, there's a bite. <laughs> We've got a fish on straight away. Come here, little fella. Wow. <laughs> that took all of, I don't know, you've seen how long it's taken to get here. He's absolutely nailed that six so Oh, I hope this isn't curse of the curse of the first cast fish. There he is, just a little fella, cracking sign. Gonna get him back, uh, get a fresh bait on because he annihilated that. Getting the one in the water. Oh, I haven't even said Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, I hope you all had a great one. Yes. Well, that's the next bait in the water. Um, <laughs> I just left the same bait on, in all honesty, slid up the line and uh, reset the hook. Need to be super accurate with casting here because of these uh, massive pinnacles everywhere, but... Um, oh, that looked a bit bitey. If you, if you, not, if you can't get it in the right place and you're right over edges... Wow, it's a huge wall of water. Even that little Tommy makes all of this travel that I've just done worthwhile. This is the same bait that I chucked out before. It's had about 10 minutes now. So I'm going to bring this in, put the fresh bait on and chuck it out. I'm going to try and chuck it a little further, but still try and keep accurate because it's literally, I don't know, it's a 30 foot gap I can cast between. It's emptying out massively, so I want to get further, but not too far because then I'll be on top of the reef which is tricky when you've got a 50 mile an hour wind coming from behind and I've only got a finite number of leads. But I, I yeah, let's get this in and a fresh bait on. Oh yeah, that was rock there. Oh. 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 I felt like my braid giving way on a rock there. Still got my swivel and my link uh, rig clip. And my pulley, pulley bead. <laughs> a pulley bead? Pulley thing. <laughs> Proper professional tonight. Please go straight. Yes, it was straight. It's a good size squid and carp. Again, on a, like I said before, it's a pulley with a 80 pound uh, rig body and 50 pound hook length. Hopefully I drop that on top of the fish's head like I did the first cast. Feels slightly better than the first one. Oh, it's on the surface. Surfing it in. Whew. There we go. Slightly bigger than the first one. Not much. Still on size, but honestly, 35 is way too small for a cod, I would say. Let's get them back, grow bigger. 
The water is monkey. It's absolutely lifting with weed. This is what it's like. This is just so much weed. bit too far to the right this time. Got a feeling this rig might not be coming back. Seems that my theory before about a little bit further, chucking a little bit further is probably the way to go because it's two fish now and three casts and both times that I've cast further and straight that is. It's been literally two minutes before I've hit a fish. Bit of a slack liner there. Saw my rod tip bouncing a wee bit, but only very subtly. And a fair bit of slack line. Oh, yeah. Oh, bouncing off rocks there. Oh, so shallow. I don't want to drink it, but this feels a little heavier. Well, Slightly, yeah, it's probably, could be the same fish, who knows. <laughs> Barely getting a chance to get my breath back after this. I wonder if the tide starts pushing, then uh, they might get a wee bit bigger. There we go, quite small squid these, but that uh, previous bait has caught two fish for us. Well, I thought my box had just blown over. Uh, yeah, the previous bait I just chucked straight back out and uh, caught another fish, so <laughs> I think uh, they're not too fussy tonight as long as I can get the bait in the right spot. Fifth bait in the water, fifth cast, four fish. And we're 20 minutes before low water. Was a pretty big hit. <sighs> Too impatient. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Someone's having a little nibble. I think the first hit was actually weed hitting my line. That's why I kind of came over to the rod, because it looked like looked like a bite. I picked it up. And then uh, yeah, it was definitely a fish hit. Good one as well. I hope I haven't pulled myself into a snag. It's a little let. Oh. Let a little bit of line out and maybe the fish might pull us at least put the hook in its mouth and then uh, I'll let the pulley do its its thing. Or well, maybe not. Oh, 
Oh, I can't get this one on the surface. Could be the weed, or it might be that it's a wee bit bigger. Oh, there it is. <laughs> well, definitely all a, an average stamp. I think this one's probably the biggest of the night. Well, if I was in a match, it definitely wouldn't be winning the heaviest fish. Not that I've done any matches, although I'm thinking of potentially trying one out. But I'd have about, well, that was the fourth fish, around one and a half, two pounds. So let's say, say eight and a half pounds so far. I've still got a few hours to fish yet. As I said at the beginning of the video, I was up in Aberdeen for uh, for Christmas and I went to a shop called Summers in Aberdeen to buy some bait. I was going to fish up there, but I had to come back early for work, which is why I'm heading down the road and fishing now. But uh, the bait there, the cart is fantastic. Almost as good as uh, as Billy's. Big. I mean, look at all that coral in there. And the guy in there was really helpful. Gave us loads of marks for fishing up in Aberdeen, which was what I was planning to do. But I had, like I say, I had to head back early. So unfortunately, really appreciate the help. But I'll know for next time out. Don't think I mentioned the air temperature. So the forecast said it was uh, one degree and then around minus five with the wind chill, which is a wee bit chilly, <laughs> but the fish are definitely keeping us warm. And there's no uh, slack liners tonight. Well, I had that one that I missed, but they're all quite, uh, quite positive baits. I don't know if it's, just because of the size of the fish, but uh, I'll take these. Brilliant, I haven't been fishing for a couple of weeks. And it's, uh, <laughs> all this running around's helping, helping burn off all the turkey and the, um, yeah. Oh. I think, oh. I might be over a ledge here. Or I might have cast too far. Yeah, I'm either over a ledge or I've just got straight into weed. I am straight. I think I'm just over a boulder. Trying to get this on the surface, but I can't. Oh, there we go. Over the kelp. Oh, don't get hung up on that. Oh. Well, that's definitely the biggest of the night. Definitely the biggest of the night, that. Oh, he's feisty. Oh, bitters as well. <laughs> yep. Trunky little git. It's got uh, some, like the nodules I have on there. Uh, I've never seen that before. See that, like normally what they have on the, uh, or what do you call it? <laughs> on the chin. But uh, yeah, on his fins. 
something's had a go on this on the side of it as well it's chunky god his teeth are so sharp for a little fella there we go Oh, this is definitely making that journey worthwhile. Still got another three hours to get home after this, but, uh, oh, yes. There we go, that's our shop. Summer's fishing. Summer's, if you're ever in Aberdeen, go and check them out. I'm not promoting it, I'm not getting anything for it, but he's a nice fella. And he's, uh, he's giving me some good bait. Would have obviously gone to Billy's and no shields if I was here. Or near him. At the start of the video, I had started uh, baiting up or pre preparing the next bait, getting it ready for uh, for the next cast, but I haven't had a chance yet. <laughs> it's deformed this bait. Maybe put a wee bit too much uh, cart in it. I felt like it went a wee bit too far. Oh, I got that weird vibrating again, twanging. Just for the ease of fishing, really, I'm using the uh, Sentry Fireblade 14 foot with uh, my usual pen battle. 8000 LC uh, which is a long cast version with 79 pound Daiwa J braid straight through um, and oh no that's not a bite and like I said before a, a panel uh, sorry pulley rig and also if you've seen uh, my, I don't think I mentioned it on my last video but the previous two or three I uh, mentioned about a giveaway and <clears throat> I've pretty much got the full list of, of products now. I've had some great uh, donations and things that I've bought as well. So I think the way I'm going to run it is you'll need to comment on this video and say the brand name of the item that you would like. and. Uh, some of the items are Lazy Lures from Cornwall have uh, given me oh, what they call an adventure pack, which is basically uh, a selection, I think, of 10 boxes of lures. Might have that wrong, but a lot of lures from them and also uh, a waterproof waste pack which looks great. I haven't had a, a touchy-feely of it yet because it's been delivered while I've been away. Um, but yeah, that looks brilliant. I've also got, I don't know how many packs, but a lot of packs of uh, Berkeley Gulp um, lures uh, from Berkeley, obviously. Uh, a load are all new models which are coming out this year my carriage stinks of berkeley gulp and they've been really good for us recently on the eve of the boat and on the shore for catching pollock and cod um, there's also going to be uh, a century fire blade 14 foot pretty much the rod that i'm using um, pen have given me a uh, the new brand new pen title reel 8000 size which I think is worth around 220 quid or something, uh, which seems like a really nice reel. I've actually got a new pen title XT, but uh, I haven't had a chance to spool it up yet. Also, a pair of Scarpa uh, boots or trainers, which I'm uh, 
I'm wearing at the minute. These aren't the ones, obviously, not the exact same ones. Sorry, not this pair. <laughs> but identical to that and brand new. Um, so you'll need to let us know your size if you do get those. There'll also be a Sea to Summit dry bag rucksack, around 30 litres or so, which are really nice, hard wearing, um, fully waterproof. There's also a real, well, I think a, apparently the warmest socks in the world from a brand called Lorpen, which are a Spanish brand, and they're uh, Polartec Power Stretch and Prima Loft, and they're basically designed for 8,000 meter peaks, climbing Everest. Uh, I think they cost around 65 quid, but they're, uh, yeah, really nice and really warm. Great for standing around in the freezing cold. What else is there? Oh, that might be it. But I'll confirm if I can remember any more, I'll let you know at the end of the video. And I'm going to give all these away on a live stream. So the thing to do is to write a comment mentioning the brand that of product that you would like. So if you want, oh, hang on. Whoa. Oh, that was a good bite. That was a cracker of a bite. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. I thought, I thought it was a safe time to talk. <laughs> so yeah, what you need to do is uh, reply, put a comment in this video in the brand name of the product that you want. So if you want the shoes, then mention Scarpa. Uh, if you want the Sentry Rod, obviously mention Sentry. And what I'll do is um, I'm going to do a live stream either the week after this video. What I'll do on the live stream is we'll uh, use a comment picker and we'll search through all the comments with the, that mention the brands. And I'll leave a link to all of the products in the description of this video so you can see them, see what you want, research them, and obviously you know how to spell the brand as well um, because that is really important. If you don't spell the brand name correctly, then the comment picker won't pick you out. And also, you'll need to be subscri subscribed to the channel to access the, uh, the live stream because this, the idea of this giveaway is that it is for subscribers and also people who support the channel. But uh, yeah, if you want to watch the live stream, you will need to be subscribed. Oh, I can't believe that didn't come back. That was a brilliant bite. Damn. Oh. There's absolutely no resting tonight. Ooh. Oh. Slack line is there, but I think I probably pulled the uh, hook out of the fish's mouth. Oof, that was a good pull. That's about four good bites this, uh, this bait had. I don't know whether I've just lost my lead and now my hook snagged. Oh. 
Yeah, I think I'm all right. Gonna give it another two or three minutes and then pull this one in. I've managed now <laughs> to get another bait prepped. This is better, this has got head shakes going on it. Or maybe not. Uh, just as the tide started flooding as well. Get up. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, fire blade. Well, there we go. I've cut my fingers too many times on the... Uh, on the teeth, so I'm trying to gild them. There we go. Yep, there we go. Maybe three and a bit, three and a half, going on four. Nice clean fish. I'm gonna get it back. Off like a shot. Let's get this other, other bait on. All right, so the tide started pushing. Must have done a wee while ago because there's a fair bit of water now. This is uh, this bait's got a good size fish name on it. I've been waiting to say this for ages. I don't know why I haven't yet, but uh, I apologise in advance. Come and get it, Mr. Cod. Come and get it. Might have gone too far that. I got a bit excited with my own joke. Still straight though. Yeah, I apologise for that. Come and get it. Get it. Aye. Storm Garrett. Sorry. I think I'm a bit delusional after today's travel and uh was a good bite. Must be stacked with fish out there. Oh, this one's better. Either that's just over a rock. It's not better. Next fish, about three pounds. Nah, maybe two and a half. Skinny that one compared to the others. Weird bites. I, I thought I'd lost me lead, but he must have just been swimming around for a while in the same spot. Get it unhooked and get it back. Aliup. God. I've been trying to sort my rigs out and bait up and I just keep getting bites and I've just strewn my stuff all over the place. Come 
come get it, come get it, come get it, come and get it. Oh yeah, look, the rocks have disappeared. So is the moon. Oh dear, that one definitely went too far right. Uh, <laughs> at least that might give us an opportunity to get me second rig baited up. Can't believe this session. I mean, I know I'm not setting the world alight with size, but um, I'm enjoying myself a lot. I haven't had the opportunity to fish as much as I usually do, which is normally just once a week. And if I have, then I've missed all the great conditions because this season in Northumberland especially, uh, it seems to have been a very good year from what I've seen online and, and uh, you know, on YouTube and I don't go on Facebook, but uh, Instagram. And I'm starting to feel a little down because I'm like, oh, well, I've caught a few tiddlers. I've had some good sessions, been enjoying myself, but I haven't been getting the quantities that I've seen, you know, other people and even the sizes I think I've seen more doubles this year landed uh, than I have ever before I don't know if it's just because there's more on social media or what but I'm enjoying myself <laughs> GoPro start recording well I don't know what went on there oh in some heavy shit there like I've got a fish on I just finished yabbering onto the camera and I've said that I was too far right I thought I just had a wave going over my line with some weed but uh, it was actually a big fish I didn't realise and it swam straight around a load of rocks. Oh, that feels nasty. It feels like a very nice fish if I can get this out. Oh, the wind's changed direction. Oh, oh come on. Oh. Ah, oh, no, my box is blown over. My stuff's everywhere. Oh, I've got a good fish on. <laughs> it's going all crazy. Lush. Oh no! <laughs> oh Jesus! Well, my stuff is uh oh. gone. There's a big fish on my line. The wind's changed direction and it's causing havoc. Oh, come on. What the hell? Let's see if I can pull it out. I could probably yark it, but I don't know what will give way and I don't want to lose this fish. Now the question is, do I let a load of line out? and see if it swims off but then risk my line getting wrapped around all these barnacle covered rocks losing everything braid the lot to keep the pressure on it which I can feel the fish shaking so I'm wondering whether it's my splashdown that's caught because my rotten bottom would have given way by now with that pressure. I'm going to try letting some line out. The microphone transmitter is about to run out, so. If it kicks, if the audio goes off, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. 
let a load of line out there. Oh, wow, what a pull. And it's catching up with the line, but as soon as I wind, it's not coming back in. I'm not gaining on this. Ah, oh, stuff it, I'm going to pull. Oh. Could be a lot of beeps here. Snap my braid. Oh, Jesus. It is nuts. Just had a <laughs> quiet word with myself. Stuck another uh, bait on, another rig. Had another cast. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's in the snag again. No, it's not. Come on, out you get. Oh. Oh. Lost another good one. My hook length snapped in the middle. Brand new 50 pound hook length. Snapped, gone. Literally just cast that out now. And uh, had a really good bite there. Got a good feeling. If I can get my act together. I've got a very good feeling. Oh, missed it. No, I didn't. Oh, yes. Don't stop winding. Oh, head shakes, wave. Oh, out of the rock. Oh, it's not that big, it's just the weed. Give that one five pounds. Oh, finally, after all that grief. Ah, oh, it's not five pounds. Four. Yeah. I'm having to check me trace. Every time, and this is screwed. I've lost four rigs. That's all I've got. So my final one here. My box is now a shit tip because it spilt everywhere and this bloody amnesia. <laughs> Where's the end there? Uh, I could put two hooks on this, do a double hook trace and start bagging up big style here tonight. If I was in a match. It's twice I've said that now and I'm tempted to give it a try, but the only reason why I don't like fishing matches is because all the cod matches are bags which means you have to take them all home and I know a lot of clubs give them away to really good causes and that's great it'd be great if some northeastern clubs would do catch and release like length or I don't know even weight with photographs or something but length's the only way you can't really cheat like the bass comps If there's any clubs watching, it'd be great if you could maybe give it a try. Because generally the longest fish are the oldest. It doesn't matter what they've eaten. They're the most uh, wily, wily? I don't know. I've lost track of baits, casts, fish even now. 
just a bloody good night. Gotta be a bigger fish. Well, there is one, or there was one. The one that I, snag I snagged on. Oh, I'm too warm now. But uh, yeah, oh. <laughs> over the moon. Here we go again. Oh, my head torches, head cameras just run out of batteries. Get this one on the surface. Oh, there it is. Oh, well, here we go. I mean, literally, can't even take a drink of water. <laughs> uh, another, well, I don't know. Oh, that water's getting really close. Up away. My head cam battery died. So, <laughs> you've pretty much seen what I'm doing anyway with the bait and things. So, I'm just, uh, you've got to forgive us. I'm just concentrating on the fishing here and trying to make the most of this because it doesn't happen a lot. So that's another cast in the water. So, aside from the tide coming in, I'm actually running out of bait. I think I've got about five squid left. And uh, one cart wing. No way. Surely not. I've literally just cast it out. But we're going to carry on until it's either we can't fish on here anymore or run out of bait. And I'll worry about the, uh, the wee drive home afterwards. <laughs> Come on, head torch. Well, oh, that was running towards us, that. Thought I'd missed it. And it just, I felt an almighty thump. It started running, I thought I'd lost it. you get <sighs> oh so lightly lipped a bit smaller than the previous two still three pounds gonna have to recycle me baits I think I mean, this has been in for such a short length of time, it just literally bit the head off. Oh, That feels like it's gone right to where I lost a big one. Yeah, it has, but not too bad. Oh. Now my tip light seems to be running out of batteries. I hope you can still see it. Do actually have a spec. No. 
do have a spare battery for this tip light, but I don't want to. I don't want to waste my time changing it. <laughs> oh, you're joking! Oh, that's not what I need. Is it a seal? No, it's a knot. Eh? What? Otters don't like cart, do they? Just a little in this one. Hopefully that alpha predator has gone. Getting smaller. Yeah, definitely getting smaller. Still though, it's fish. Well matey. Hope you make it back. Right, Mr. Big Cod, come and get it. It's the smallest squid I've got. Really can't remember the last time I ran out of bait. I think it was about 10 years ago. A session on a particular beach mark where I was just catching so many fish. I actually, me and my mate sat down and stopped fishing. Just have a break. And then we ran out of bait even though we'd had a half hour break. This really reminds me of that session. Apart from I've only been out for a few hours. That was a rubbish cast. It was a big high, not very far one. Not that I have to go very far, but it's very close anyway. So we'll give that a few minutes. If we don't get a fish, then I know I'm, if we don't get a fish, then I know I'm too close. Probably a good uh, good thing when I'm running out of bait. It's nearly time to get off here. Oh, get off. Stop biting us. <sighs> That's even really close in. Well, that's my final cast. I thought I had more bait, but I don't. I've run out. Last squid, last piece of cart. I actually found a piece of cart on the ground, uh, which had come out of my previous, one of my previous baits, and that's what I put in. Oh.
Must be weed on the line for this. Well, that's a head shake. Here comes a big set of waves. Oh, final fish. Nice little specimen. Well, specimen, you know what I mean. It's not a specimen, but it is a lovely looking fish. Pristine, pretty much. Apart from the hole in the mouth. See, it's pristine, it's actually got a leak in its ass. Go on, son, away you go. Yep. Spot on. Here's an interesting thought. Get some light. Wouldn't it be great if batteries got lighter as they ran out? Like my head torch is about to. I forgot that the walk in is a low tide walk, so it's quite, quite all right. The walk out is a lot longer, and uh, up a very steep hill, and a muddy field, and some fallen down trees. And I was thinking, God, these batteries that I've carried down have now run out. Wouldn't it be great if they? Were <laughs> if they were lighter. Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm a bit tired. I've still got a good, well, nearly three hour drive to get back, I think. As long as I don't have, hit any floods like I did on the way down. <sighs> Pretty good session, that. Uh, fish a cast, apart from one. Couldn't have really caught more fish unless unless I fished with two rods or a two hook rig. Um, so glad it wasn't the case of the first cast fish. Uh, curse of the first cast fish. I'm also pretty gutted that I lost, which I know was a big one. It just you know when you hook into them and you you, you can feel it and you just like yeah that's a good one. And then actually I lost two. But I don't think the second one was as big. It didn't. It didn't give us that feeling. But the first one, yeah, I'll be dreaming about that. I think made all that travel worthwhile. I had to do the travel anyway, but it was nice to break it up by catching a, a canny bag of cod. Uh, in a storm, storm Garrett, coming Garrett, <laughs> which they did. Um, yeah, I'm pretty delirious now. I think I need some water. So, competition, or oh, not competition, giveaway. Unfortunately, this is some rules here. Um, it's for people in the UK. Comment on one item, you can only have one. If you comment on more than one and you get chosen twice, uh, you'll get your first first giveaway. Um, the second one, will, we'll just have to run it again. You might want the Sentry Rod, who wouldn't? It's a fantastic rod. There might not be as many people after the Berkeley lures, and you might get them. I mean, there's, there's at least a hundred quid of lures. And don't forget the Lazy Lure giveaway. Uh, that's fantastic. Really big thanks to Freddie and um, and the team down at Lazy Lures for, for that. Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting a hold of those, actually, because um, I've heard good things about the lures. And also the waterproof waste bag looks brilliant. It's slightly bigger than the HPA one that I that I usually use so but uh yeah I will leave everything that's available uh in the description below so don't forget to go and check that out so you can see what is available um and um yeah we'll do the live stream and give away loads of stuff have a Q&A type thing and uh Maybe have a beer on, on screen with you as well. That would be nice. Share a beer and we'll probably do that... Uh, I don't know, the weekend of the of the 6th? Oh. Weekend of the 6th? I don't know. First weekend in January anyway. <laughs> but I, I'll, um, I'll post something on YouTube and Instagram to say exactly when it will be. Uh, it just needs to fig, you know, fit around work and things. So And also fishing. Because uh, I need to get a, a video out as well. So yeah, 
Uh, I'm not very coherent at the minute, so sorry, it's uh, jumping around a bit. Um, I'm going to hopefully edit this outro into something a little bit more coherent. Snap my braid. Damn it! That was a good fish. Don't come now, fish. Don't come now. Ignore the head shakes in the way. There's another one out there. Right. Doesn't matter, Nathan. <laughs> We've had a candy session so far. Tide's coming in. It's getting deeper. It's casting the right direction. We'll get some more fish. Gust to finish. Cast straight. Go on, please be straight. Right. This is uh, it's game time. I hope. Don't jinx it. Microphones are fully charged. Lights working. Batteries on the camera working. Bait in the water. Oh, that wasn't very good. What happened there? Oh no, I missed it. That was stupid, Nathan. What, what do you do that for? I didn't wait for the bite. Well, I had a bite, I didn't wait for the second 